Hi everyone, we're here today at Silverdale with Chris meeting up to see how is the comparison between the good old D3 and the Jeep Wrangler. Rubicon. Rubicon, it's Rubicon. not any old Wrangler, it's no, no. a Rubicon. Rubicon, yeah. So, which engine's in that, Chris? That's 2 litre petrol. 2 litre petrol. Like 270 brake horsepower. And about the same torque, I think, maybe 300, 350. And with the Rubicon, does that come with those standard wheels and tyres, or did I see um, you actually just upgraded those? Those are upgrade. It comes with, um, normally with those wheels. <laughs> those wheels? <laughs> but it comes with 33 inch tyres on the standard. Those are the same size wheels, but we've got 35 inch tyres on. So it's a little bit, yep. it's a bit bigger. And we need them here, as you can see. Look at the mud down here as well at the minute. It's just like uh, an actually obsessed bit at the minute, uh, <laughs> giving us some interesting places to get through. Hey, and is, uh, just looking at your suspension as well, set up in there, is that is that normal as well? No, so that's been upgraded as well. That's an AEV um, two and a half inch lift. It comes with like Bilshan shocks and there's like relocation brackets, so yep. it relocates the arms to give it more travel. Cool. So uh, a standard one is, yeah, standard one's quite high anyway. This has got an extra two and a half inches. So get us out of the ruts. Yeah, it looked like it as well. well. In fact, it was pretty interesting at the top there. We've, we've got a little bit of video where we're trying to like get through that really slippery piece as well. Yeah. And you've got, um, did, did you, have you changed the bumper on the front as well, maybe? So yeah, it's on the, front. the, yeah. So, at the factory, it comes with a plastic bumper on, which is sticks out about half a foot. Yep. No, about two foot. Um, so that's like an aluminium stubby bumper with um, obviously a guard underneath as well for steering arms. And um, yeah, I'm just, up to win, winching it. Yeah, and that's worn, what's that, a... Um, 10,000 pound 10, one. 10,000 pound. Yeah. Well, I suppose, again, that's a relative lightweight compared to the the double chassis of the, uh, yeah. of the D3, which reminds me, three tons. Yeah. Oh yeah, that bumper's super lightweight. Yeah, that's the whole point, to just save some weight off the front. And this is nice as well, this is... Uh, yeah, it, actually, I, I was going to get one of those flat link ones, but they're like 300 quid. <laughs> And that was in the sale for like 70 quid, so I thought, oh, well, I'll have that for now. <laughs> and I assume with the Rubicon, has it got the automatic sway bar? Yeah, well, it's on? yeah, it's electric. You press the button, it switches it on and off. Yeah. So handy as well, because I used to have a, uh, an XJ years ago, yeah. but that had the removable links we had to get underneath. Yeah, especially get muddy. Like, especially now, like we yeah. down there, Harv, you see that uh, mud underneath there? You've got to get your hand underneath there to be able to pull that link back out. I'll put it back in, it's the worst yeah. thing at the end. Yeah, yeah no, it's just, um, just press the button and wait a few minutes for it to sort itself out and it just disconnects. Okay, so it's not like instantaneous? No, no, there's a slight delay where the electric motor, it wouldn't, like on an angle like that, it wouldn't disconnect or connect. Yep. It has to be on a flat surface yeah, so for it to line the motor up, I guess, or the bracket. Yeah, it's quite a lot of pressure and yeah. torsion bar. Yeah. And then, show us as well what you've got on the, um, 
on the diff lockers? Is that like a, is that yeah. an automatic I, thing? Yeah, I have to ignore the mess inside. <laughs> there you go. But uh, yeah, it's front and rear. It's basically, um, oh, you can get some the, on a minute. The, the red switches is basically you can have rear locker or front and rear. Um, and also, we've got a, a taser in there which you can swap parameters on it. A taser? Yeah. So, like for electrocuted people. <laughs> that's the same sort of thing, but you can change all the parameters in the Jeep so you can sort of lock the rear wheels or lock the front wheels, oh, cool. or you can do like a, a rear dig so you can like, well, you can do a rear dig anyway, but there's yeah. also like, um, you see the new Broncos, I got that yeah, feature where you can, can do this. The yeah, turn with on. that, you can do that as well with the taser on this. Wow, really? Happy so you can like that. turn on a. Yeah. This is good, good for donuts. Yeah, and I've done the same as you. I know, yeah. It's I just like lent up against the car, <laughs> and now I'm thinking I'd probably like, yeah, look at that. You see yeah. the mud round here as well. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, because oh, it's like electronic diff lockers, and same with the sway bar, and um, usual comforts, heated steering wheel, heated seats. Yep. That sort of thing that you need on is a it, wet, cold day. I was going to say, it's a bit difficult to uh, do the uh, clearance measurement here as well. See, we're like in the mud yes. on the side somewhere, but I'm pretty sure you're going to sort of beat us in, even beat uh, the, um, the D4 SVX we had last uh, week. Yeah, it's cool. And hey, Chris, what are these uh, lights as well? They look um, pretty fancy. Yeah, so these are the Baja Designs LPs, and uh, basically you've Ooh. got, um, so it's got a backlight anyway, so when you're driving, that lights up and the whole thing backlights. Um, but you've got um, two driving ones and four, or two wide angle driving ones if you like and then four spots yep. in there. So um, but you can actually run it low beam which is just the bottom ones or you can switch it to more, or um, six. And is that just wired into your headlights? Yeah. So have you got a special relay and thing for that? What's the... Yeah, it's a separate switch for the, to put the whole thing on but the bottom two lights just ride into switch for the fog lights. Cool. So it looks quite nice, but um, and that has a does it have a daylight running light as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. There's yeah. a backlight that lights up to have done that. And it's also got like, these LEDs on the side, so you can actually get light oh, side glow. Yeah, light out of each side. Really nice. And Excuse while me. I'm down here as well, is this the the normal um, protection you've got for the sump guard? Uh, some uh, sump guard's part of that bumper, but also on the diff we've got some um, AEV um, diff protectors. So it's basically like a cast. Um, cover yeah. it replaces the standard tin one. You can't actually see the front one very good. <laughs> They're all like covered uh, in mud at the If moment. you look at the back one, the back one's yeah. nice and shiny and silver. And then on the um, side, um, next piece of protection is the rock slider. So the rock sliders on this are obviously a lot closer in than I'd normally expect to see. I mean, mine are, mine are pretty close in as yeah. well, but a lot of the Land Rovers we tend to like, like them sort of sticking out more. Yeah. No, is that like those, a different... those are factory stock. They're factory stock, but you can race. You can. We've had the weight of Jeep on those, no problem whatsoever. They're they're. I think they're so close because they're rock solid, sort of thing. And I think the other thing, obviously, is your um, tyres stick out that bit further. So yeah. the track, you, you naturally <laughs> got like a cut in, so you're hopefully yeah. not going to get any damage down the side. Yeah. Although, I see, there's a few little tree marks down there, which are going to need a bit of uh, polishing out. Part of, part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look at the back then as well, Harv. See what we've got under this uh, rear um, axle. You what? can probably see the rear. It's probably no, no mud on it, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, so you can see the... Oh, yeah. AEV. Yeah. So, uh, it's just like a super strong upgrade for it, basically. And... Is that is that the same tyre you've got? Sort of, yeah. Uh, so, okay, so you've got the uh, Cooper Discover STT Pro, so the same tyres as we have, except yeah. for you've got the 31570 R17, so... I've only got the 265, so obviously you beat me a bit on the width there. <laughs> and that must be... So what is 30, that? 30, equivalent to about 35 inches. About 35 overall. Yeah, when yeah. they're new. Not that when is, they're worn down. Yeah, that Which is one of the advantages, obviously, of the Jeep as well, at least over the Discovery 3 and 4s, because we're pretty limited. I mean, um, we saw that the biggest you can really get on there is 34 width yeah. cutting as well. Yeah. Yeah, now, on well, these take 37. Well, with that lift, you could put 37s on there, no problem at all. Well, these are 37s on that one. Yeah. But, um, and I assume these are the standard recovery. Yeah, it's just standard. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you get standard recovery front and rear. That's just part of the Rubicon package, yeah. if you like. And we've also got Chris over there, so we need to get the Tony. He's Chris over there and Tony over there. That's right. <laughs> Keep getting it mixed up. And he's doing a filming of us filming them. Filming you, filming. Filming, filming, filming. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, um, on 
um, and then next to Chris so the microphone picks up. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Our Channel Modified Jeeps UK will show you guys making this film. Yeah. Of Chris, because he's we one collaborate. Of our, one of our guys. <laughs> and um, and we'll share your channel. Cool, well. thank you. And you've got a terra firma winch actually. I think that's the same as I've got underneath. Mm. Is that, that the, really, yeah, that's yeah. the twelve yeah that is that's exact yeah. that's exactly the same winch as we've got. We've got the A twelve thousand. Mm -hmm. So I took the control module mines up in the inside in there mm. with the. Um, I just use a hand controller. But for the amount of times we, we use it, well, we've never used it. <laughs> we've only used it. Um, we pre-spooled it, but we've never actually got stuck. Um, so you know, I don't fancy paying like a thousand, fifteen hundred quid for a, yep. a winch. That's just going to sit there. I was going to say, I think as well, Harvey. Have we ever used our winch to get ourselves out? I think it always tends to pull everybody else out so far. <laughs> yeah, so, that's, that's usually, that's yeah. usually the, the way, yeah. 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 Including when we yeah. was on the um, sands at um, Shell Island, someone went out into the into the little <laughs> estuary piece there as well in their, in their Vauxhall Corsa, so that was a, yeah. a fun bit of time pulling them out as well. <laughs> Did you air down as well, anyone, or are you just on the, the standard pressure that you came in as? No, I went down to 20. I did as well, especially because it's very boggy. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want to get out in the mud and have to get stuck to all things, so we put it down to 20. And Any onboard safe. compressor at all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, it's not onboard, it's in a box. <sighs> oh, that's fancy. Just like just the uh, twin air one with the. Yeah, it's a bit better than my one as with well. With a tank, yeah. So how long does it take you to pump yours up once you're down from 20 back up to 30? I assume is it? Yeah, not long. I don't know really. Just five minutes maybe. Okay, we'll have to have a little race see if we go fast. <laughs> yours, yours, will my, yours will beat my uh, 50 pound cheap Amazon one, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it does a job anyway. So. Ah, and also I see Harvey's got some soft shackles in the back as well. You yeah. prefer those over the the metal? Yes. Yeah, I have got the metal ones in there, but for general, I don't always take that out when we get, like if I'm not going out laying we'll take yep. that, but generally driving around, I don't take it, so I just have those in, so if emergencies come, I've always, I've always got it. And what about the roof? Do you ever get the roof off in England? Uh, the front part, yeah, a lot of the time, but I haven't had the actual top roof off yet, because just the weather's too unpredictable, isn't it? Yeah. And what, about, and what about the doors as well? Because I've created the doors come off. Yeah, yeah, it's just two bolts. I've took them off once, drove down the road without the doors on, and you feel so exposed, you're like, so yeah. I drove around, went back and put them back on again. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you just feel so exposed with it. You with can get there. those little sort of, yeah. little tubular bar yeah. things to give you some sense of security as well. Yeah. Oh, and you've also got the little piece for your um, cooker, is it, I assume, here yeah. as well? Yeah, it's a, well, Tony, Tony makes these, actually. Does he? Oh. Yeah. So you've got a stainless steel table. And uh, oh, pop out little wooden chopping uh, area. <laughs> bamboo chopping, chopping board. But I think that's um, food grade stainless steel, so you can do chopping and everything on there as well. So yeah, it's nice. Be lost without that. It's, yeah, uh, for <laughs> everything. Most used accessory that is. <laughs> Here are the scores for the JT off-road rating. Running 35-inch Cooper Discoverer STT Pros on a nice set of method wheels gives Chris a score of nine for the wheels and tyres. Those 35s and the 2.5 inch lift kit came close to the max score on clearance at a 9. Moving to the lockers and gears with the front and rear lockers and the Jeep having a four wheel drive locked out design, i.e. no need to have a centre diff, plus the new models coming with an 8 speed auto box, this gives a 10 out of 10. Power, the 2 litre petrol, pushes out a healthy 270 brake which gives it a score of 5 on our rating. The standard LED headlights and the Baja design spots are something to behold, scoring 8. With the worn winch, standard recovery points and a good quality recovery gear, we give him a 9. Upgraded bumper, sump guard and AEV diff guards with factory standard rock sliders awards a 7. Comfort, all the normal stuff included heated seats and steering wheel but with the big wheels creating a bit of noise results in a 7. Finally, onto the coolness factor, it was pretty cool, getting a 17. This gives a grand total and a new highest score of 81.
we found an interesting challenger to Silverdale to compare the Rubicon against Discovery 3. Hmm, you know I said earlier I never get stuck if I need to use the winch. I was going to say, I think as well, Harvey, have we ever used our winch to get ourselves out? I think it always tends to pull everybody else out so far. <laughs> well, maybe I might be proven wrong. You're, you're so caught up, you're caught up on your number plate bit at the back. Who done it? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Slow, 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 slow. Wait there. That's it. It's doing it, go half, keep the power on. No, all right. I think you beat us. Oh well, at least we got ourselves out with the winch. Thanks Chris for showing us around your Jeep. I must say it's a wonderful uh, piece of kit and um, uh, and obviously it did actually beat us through that hole only just by a little bit I think. I think it was that extra bit of uh, articulation and the 35 inch tyres that really helped you out there. Yeah, actually, to be honest, I did use the front locker there to get through it, so that was probably the, the difference between you and not getting through, maybe. I don't well, know. It could actually, because it was Harvey that was driving as well, maybe it's his <laughs> fault that he couldn't get through. Maybe I'll go back in a minute and see if I can do that or not. And um, also a yeah, shout out for um, Tony in uh, Modified Jeeps UK. We've put his banner up the top there as well. Really nice to see him here today as well, and it's great to actually see a comparison between Land Rover and Jeep because uh, as you might know I used to have a Jeep as well in the past I moved over to Land Rover but I'm seriously thinking again now maybe I should rethink my thoughts and uh, get one of each get one yeah definitely definitely have one of each okay thanks very much everyone okay. thanks Chris don't forget to subscribe and drop us a message if you think you can top the leaderboard of JT off-road rating